Hmm. Sis, I brought some tea. Ah. Uh. Sorry to bother you. Ah, it's a misunderstanding. She's definitely misunderstanding us right now. So, wait a minute. Jeez. Hmm. Don't look at me. My name is Masaru Chinebi. I'm a second year high school student. Hmm. Hmm. And her name is Ina Makikita. She is a second year student at the same school as me. Just the other day, Makikita challenged me to a game of dodgeball. I don't know why, but she's been on my case for some reason. Every time we pass each other at school, Chinebi, you must play a game with me. <laughs> she would try to make me play with her like this. Did I do something to offend her? I don't know. So that day, as usual, she challenged me to a game, and we ended up playing dodgeball. And then... Here goes. OMG. Ah. At first, I thought that it was just a jammed finger. But upon examination, both hands were found to be broken. No! In other words, she had lost the use of both hands because of me. I had come to apologize for that today. Sucks that I can't use both hands. Uh, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'll do anything to make up for it. Did you just say anything? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, well... Hmm. You'll do anything. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, then. I can't put on my pants with my hands, so let me put them on. Mm. What? Oh, what? You said you would do anything, but you can't. You are a man of your word, aren't you? No! You're not ashamed? Well, I'm not ashamed of that. Honestly, I'm a little embarrassed. Oh, there! I thought it was underwear. Then I helped her put her pants on. That made me very embarrassing. Uh, I was more embarrassed than expected. <clears throat> hmm, how is it? What do you mean? I'm asking you how it feels to be jawed at by a girl who has made fun of you so much. It's humiliating, isn't it? Well, no. You don't have to hide it. You're being humiliated like this by the person who has looked down on you for so long. You must feel very humiliated. No, not at all. I rather think it's a perk. <laughs> I'll make up for all the times you've mocked me. Right here! <sighs> what did I do to make her resent me? I just always beat her when she challenged me to a game. I'm going to double pay you back for all the times I've lost. And then... Brush my teeth! Then open your mouth. Uh... I was still being given orders that Makikita thought were humiliating. Uh, but I wasn't humiliated at all. I don't know why having a boy my age look inside my mouth, it's a little embarrassing. Rather, Makikita was embarrassed. How was that? It must have been humiliating, hasn't it? Well, not really. You don't admit it. It's not that I don't admit it, but it's rather a perk. The boundary where Makikita feels humiliated is slightly off. From Makikita's point of view, she thinks that I usually look down on her, and that it would be humiliating to be forced to serve someone who looks down on her. But I don't look down on Makikita in the first place. Why am I supposed to look down on her? Does it mean that I despise Makikita, right? I would understand if she looked down on me. I've always been a loner at school. I have never been good at socializing, and I act suspiciously when I talk to people. I became a high school student and wanted to have a girlfriend. I read fashionable magazines and tried to imitate them, studied hard to get first place in tests, worked out to be good at ball games. <sighs> I tried everything to get a girlfriend. The result was that I became a sophomore without a girlfriend or friends. In contrast, Makikita is very popular. She is good-looking, intelligent, and athletic. She is also trusted by the teachers and is a world apart from me. Here. Next, feed me. You bought takoyaki earlier, didn't you? Here, quickly, before it gets cold. Uh. 
Hot, hot. Hmm. Hot, hot. I think about it, but I don't understand at all. Uh, Makikita. Hot. What is it? Why, are you making me your enemy? What? You said I looked down on you, but I have no intention of doing so. You're good-looking, intelligent, athletic, and can do anything. I don't care if you think less of me. That's enough. What's wrong with her? Is she rather angry? Why is that? You're a good-looking, intelligent, and athletically talented boy, but it sounds like you're making fun of me. Hmm? I mean, aren't you humiliated by being used by me? No! Hmm. You are surprisingly patient. That's fine. I'll make sure you'll be humiliated. Uh, then one day, I was invited to dinner by her parent. Thank you for always taking care of my daughter. If you like, you can have dinner with us today. Oh, um... Let's eat together. Uh, I was so nervous, and then it was decided. What am I going to do? Uh, have dinner at someone else's house? I've never had dinner at a stranger's house because I've never made friends. What if I do something rude? I was in such a rush that it was time to eat. I'll feed you, sis. Wait, Eo? I can eat by myself. How are you going to eat with those hands? Ugh. Here, sister. Open your mouth. Mm. Uh, I guess the sisters are very close. Thank you always for Ina. No, it's my responsibility to take care of her. Oh, by the way, this is Eo, Ina's sister. Eo, I can't eat all at once, so a little slower. She's in the first grade of Salvado Girls School. Salvado Girls School? I remember it is a prestigious school. I see that she's an excellent student. Yes, she is. She is very excellent. Uh, no. Hmm. <laughs> hmm? What is it? The atmosphere at the dining table seems to have changed a little. Ha! Huh. Don't tell me this is what it means to read between the lines! I have seen on the internet that the important thing in human relations is to understand the situation. In other words, read between the lines here. I think it is necessary to make a gag to lighten the heavy atmosphere. <sighs> the futon has blown away! Thanks for dinner. Oh, sis! Are you done? I'm already full. Really? Ina. Hmm. Uh, I cried. A little fast. After that, I was being worked on as if nothing had happened. The way the atmosphere had changed, there must be something going on. But I wondered if it was something that I, as a person like me, was allowed to get in on. I've been thinking about it and haven't been able to ask her. But I'm extremely curious about it. I don't know why but I can't help but notice that Makikita seems a little sad. I want Makikita to always be in good spirits. Do you want to know? Uh, has she found out that I'm concerned about that? It's not an unusual story. Still, if you let me listen to it, uh, I'd like to hear it. Hmm, okay. But it's a really common story, you know. An older sister who has a talented and good younger sister is compared with a younger sister by surroundings. Uh. My sister Eo is what you call a genius. She is the best at everything she does. I was always compared to her. I was frustrated by that, so I tried my best. But no matter what I did, I could never beat my sister. I think my mother knew that. So she was always very careful and didn't praise Eo in front of me anymore. Well, that care makes me feel miserable. <clears throat> but don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on my sister because of it. Razor, our relationship is pretty good. She likes me and I like her. It's just that I don't want to be seen as a big sister to everyone around me. I see. The reason I'm trying to get on your case... <sighs> is because you give off the same vibe as my sister. Uh, me? Because you can do anything. Uh, that's not true, though. 
You can do anything. In fact, no matter how many times I've challenged you to a fight, I've always lost. <sighs> I see. I finally understand why she's been trying to get me to do something about it. I'm not sure if you're a genius or not, but you're not as good as my sister. <sighs> I wonder if she is actually a sister complex person. Well, compared to me, an ordinary person, I think you are a much more gifted person. That's not true! Huh? Even Makikita is a genius in my opinion. Pity? I'm not happy to be consoled by you. It's not like that. You have an indomitable spirit that will not break no matter how many times you lose. Even though most people would have given up long ago. You mean to tell me that's a gift? Yes. Uh, I see. And? What? I prefer people like that. What? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Really? <sighs> huh? I feel like I just said something embarrassing. But I didn't lie. I'm not lying. Hey, tell me your weak point. My? Why? I told you an embarrassing story, remember? So let me at least hear it. <laughs> what? You're not gonna tell me? I'm... Not good with people. What? I'm not a good communicator. Oh, really? <sighs> Suddenly, I feel like you're someone I can relate to. I see. Since then, Makikita would say that. Hey, you're not a good communicator. I became agitated with her. It was annoying. Hmm. What is it? If you don't open your mouth, I can't feed you. I know. Hmm? Since the incident the other day, I feel that Makikita's behavior has changed. Normally. I wonder what humiliating order I'll give him today. But lately, she seems to be more sullen or embarrassed to be taken care of by me. I wonder why. <laughs> oh? Hey, Masaru-san! Ah, yes. Hmm? Lately... You and my sister have been getting along well. How far have you progressed? Huh? Well, I'm asking you how far you and my sister have progressed. Did you even kiss? <laughs> Me and Makikita don't have that kind of relationship. What? Are you sure? I thought you were in a relationship. No, we are not. From my sister's point of view, it's quite possible for Masaru-san to be my older brother. My sister is a pretty good property. Don't treat your sister like real estate. She's got a great body and everything. What are you looking at her for? I grew up looking at her ass. You should have seen her backside. She's a good bursting mother, you know. <sighs> is she a genius? I thought that the word genius might be exactly the same as the word stupid genius. Can I call you big brother? <sighs> then I'll call you whatever I want. It was decided before I answered. Well then, big brother, can I ask you to do your sister a little favor now? Why? Because this is also for my sister's sake. <laughs> huh? <laughs> he was so delirious with my sister. Um, this is... <laughs> um... Don't let the chair talk. Yeah. What were you and my sister talking so happily? What? You know, now you do exactly what I tell you to do. And you don't talk to other girls like you're having a good time. Do you understand? What? Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. And what type of girl do you like? What? Why is she asking me this? I don't understand. Or maybe... You know. What? Are you jealous or something? Huh? I'm jealous of you? You? Why? Why? Because you didn't like me and your sister talking to each other. Was it jealousy or... No, it's not. Now you are my... Uh, yes, you are my dog. A dog shouldn't be bothered by someone other than its owner. That's all there is to it. You treat me like a dog. What's wrong with you? No, I don't. 
That's fine. I just want to humiliate you. I don't like you or anything. <laughs> well, well. I'm looking forward to when my sister and brother will get together. I'll tell you an embarrassing secret about my big sister. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Actually, sis, she can't go to the bathroom by herself at night. Cute. Huh? The other thing is... If you say more, I'll tell him Ayo's embarrassing story too. Well, if you can say it, you can say it. Io? <laughs> can't you go to the bathroom alone at night? I've been told... <laughs> Whoa! Then, what will you do if you need to go to the bathroom at night? I wake up the one who is sleeping. I ask her to follow me to the bathroom with me. You two are so close. <laughs>